Today we ask the age-old question. Will it boba? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Unlike the embarrassing New York Times article in 2017 calling Boba blobs as if they were an early draft of a John Carpenter movie monster, we know what Boba is and we know that it's delicious. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Boba for the uninitiated refers to the chewy tapioca balls that often pair with milk teas, but the term Boba is usually just used as a generic term for any of the drinks sold in a Boba tea shop. And fun fact, boba is actually Taiwanese for big ball, which is Taiwanese slang for big bosom. And today we'll be tasting those balls and bosoms in ways you've never seen before. It's time for Will It Boba? Boba tea shops are known for staying open late, which makes them popular with college students who have nothing better to do at one in the morning. So we thought, why not introduce boba with something else that college students love? Fireball whiskey. This is fireball whiskey, Boba, or big balls of fire. I mean, hey, it was just waiting to, to be said. And we've got we got the big balls of fire over it's here. It's such a satisfying if, if, if pop. You just, if you just want to see that, okay, that is part of the experience, and um, we are getting that. So we are getting that's it. That's one point. We're getting it. Uh, Nicole, how did you get fireball into Boba? So I took regular tapioca pearls and then I cooked them down with some hot tamales, those little cinnamon candies. Oh. And then I also added a ton, and I mean a ton, of fireball whiskey. Oh, wow. How, yeah. If you were to quantify it, how much? A ton. A, a ton. ton. That's 2,000 pounds but I made of it fireball pal- whiskey. I made it palatable enough that you won't get, you know, knocked off your socks, hopefully. Oh. Hopefully. <laughs> I got hot, hot. Oh. <laughs> oh, cinnamon. One time we stayed in a hotel room at VidCon and drank Fireball. <laughs> that was pretty much the extent of our VidCon experience that night. Um, <laughs> but it was fine. <laughs> Turns out that was a good experience. Yeah, and this is this is good as well. I love that. The fact Hotness. That the hot tamales, the flavor profile is the same as Fireball. How did you know that? Uh, drinking lots of Fireball and hot tamales together. Right, okay. Um, I love this. Now I chew anything, Everything. including puddings and liquids. Should I be chewing the boba? I don't know. You should. Yeah, okay, good. Well, might... I think it's satisfying to to good, chew good, it, good. to break it. I like to break it into two to three parts, small balls. Big balls become small balls and they go into my stomach, y'all. I'm satisfied. <laughs> Fireball whiskey, will it boba? Yes. Now, according to Etsy and dating app bios, bacon is a personality. So to please okay. the masses, we have taken America's favorite greasy meat stick and turn it into a bubble tea. Yeah, we're calling this bacon boga pork. I said boga. <laughs> That's we're fine. Calling this bacon boba pork milk tea. Pork milk tea. Pork milk That sounds tea. like something you might get somewhere. Well, it just kind of makes me think pork milk is a thing. Can you milk a pig? What? Yeah, of course. How come we haven't? Uh, because we're not piglets, but why should, I mean there's so much milk on the market Let's get into pork milk, y'all. Because because pi- pigs are a lot like people because they study the uh, decomposing pigs to, to to study decomposing humans. So I bet you it tastes like human milk, and you know how that went down. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult. Nicole, what's in these bubble bowels? I uh, boiled a bunch of tapioca pearls Ooh. with actual bacon. Then I put some maple extract, some uh, hickory smoke extract, a little bit of brown sugar, and that's about it. In a bacon wrap. Oh! Let me give it a shot. Whoa, Whoa, that's that a pop, pop that won't, won't stop. stop. <laughs> now, I, you, I don't know if you can see this, but there's floaties at the top of this that's just straight up fat float. I know how much you guys like uh, boiled bacon water, so. Oh my gosh. The smell that has now come from the straw to my nose. You've got to get a good amount of liquid before you really know you've got a ball. Hey, That's true in life. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Or don't know how that makes sense, but you you do the math in your own head. Mm. I got a bacon. Oh, you mm-hmm. know what? Hold on. I turned that frown upside down because I like it. It's super nasty on top. <coughs> <coughs> Apparently on the bottom for Link as well. It, I like the balls. It's salty. So I mean, I'm salty, another ball. smoky, fatty. Bacony. I mean, if I were just to eat a ball and not have to go through the liquid, I actually genuinely like this because bacon-flavored things can be so consistently nasty. 
I like the balls, but I do not like the liquid. Don't think about the fat on top. Just think about the flavor. Just savor the flavor for just a second. If I promise to try as hard as I can, yeah. and I still don't like it, we're gonna have to disagree. <laughs> well, then I'm not. Then nothing's at stake. <laughs> okay. If you don't then like you change it, your mind. If you, okay, if you don't like it after a second try, I'll secretly like it, but say that it won't. That it won't. It's it's good. It's good, man. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's not good. Okay. It's bad. Bacon. Will it, Boba? No. no. What kind of? Okay, maybe you've asked yourself, just how many calories is my boba habit adding to my diet? Well, thinking about that. Fear yeah. not, because we're saddling up to the bar, the salad bar, that is. This is salad barba. <laughs> <laughs> salad barba. Yes, it is. All right, what's in this, Nicole? So we have a uh, wheatgrass and arugula powder infused boba. I made it a little sweet so it can taste kind of like grass jelly, which is very common. At oh, Google grass shops. jelly. Yeah, very mm. common. I made ranch tea <laughs> and then okay. I uh, shaved some croutons on the top. Oh gosh. And then inside there's additional jellies made with um, shredded carrots, cherry tomatoes, salad greens, all in an Italian yeah. dressing aspect. Fish so food. So this has link. This has not just the balls, but it has the like cubed jellies on top. We can take. Maybe, I'll go in with a spoon in one second, but let's just get a. This first of all, this thing has settled into three distinct layers. Yeah, I mixed mine up. I maybe shouldn't have, shouldn't have done that. I think mixing's good. Air dink. Air sink. Mm. Good lord! I will say it reeks of health. What's making this so tough to like? I think it's the ranch. Oh God, yeah, yeah, it's like it's like it coagulated. I'll see if I can get one of those But special. you know what, now that I know that it's ranch, it's still better than pig milk. Um, Cause it, hey, hey, this is good for me, you know? It's anything good for you is supposed to hurt a little bit. Cause on the other side, you look back and you're like, I made it through that. What's in this, Jelly? So it's cherry tomatoes, shredded carrots, mixed greens, and it's all set in a jelly made out of Italian dressing. Yum. <clears throat> Maybe the ball itself is good. None of us good, Link. These are some thick balls. Like you bite into these balls and it's like, it's meaty almost. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I don't think that boba's supposed to be healthy. I don't think the whole, the idea of boba is mm -mm. to worry about your diet. When you're going boba, you're letting it all hang out. So, salad bar. Will it boba? No. KFC has bowls, but what if KFC made a boba? Would the Colonel be over there in the corner booth watching us and licking his fingers? I can't wait to find out. <laughs> yes, we have taken the family meal at KFC and packed it into a family drink. This is Kentucky Fried Boba. Oh my goodness. Now, you've got some squared squared off chunks down in here, Nicole. What's happening? That is corn jellies. Go cool, corn jellies, you know. Oh, there's also, I also see round bobas in there, which I also have here. This you is have fried, Kentucky Fried Boba. Kentucky Fried Boba. You, that is quite a feat. Thank you. How'd you, Kentucky how'd you fry boba without killing the boba? I Kentucky fried it. <laughs> okay. In a pressure cooker? What you talking about? No, I just threw it in a fryer with some breadcrumbs. Lemon and herbs? Let it go. And spices. What's this that's settled on top? That is mac and cheese foam. Oh. Can I, is it, there's not a way to take that off. So. <laughs> oh, well look at you. Okay, see there you go. You can see it now. I'm gonna take a sip. Mm. Oh, the way that fried boba kind of there's a little friction on that the fried bubble, the way it comes up the straw is a little different. Mm -hmm. Not real smooth. And it sits right on the edge of the straw and you kinda have to puck it real hard to get it out. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not great. <laughs> uh, it's not that bad. What do you mean? I love it. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, the, fr the soggy fried. I'm gonna go straight fried. Yeah. Try, yeah. Just, to, try, try just a ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just need a ball out in the open air. That's okay. Right. That's okay. Right. But this soggy fried balls. I wanted to love it, man. I wanted to love Damn. it, but I but I can't. <laughs> I just can't. Wow. Gravy. But oh gosh. KFC. Will it boba? 
No. Some people refer to boba tea as bubble tea, but what if you can make bubble tea from actual bubbles? This is scrub a bub boba. <laughs> boba made from soap. Nicole, please talk Tell us, us into why this drinking is safe. this. <laughs> uh, I put a uh, Dr. Bronner soap, which is the best kind of drinking soap you can find. Oh gosh, good drinking soap. Not a sponsor and not advice. <laughs> and I uh, just mixed it up with some boba, then I did the same with the tea. Okay, and uh, it's it's beautiful. Thank you, so are If you. you're gonna wash a dog, maybe. <laughs> You've got, uh, you've given us a special straw I, I see as well. Yeah, that Ooh. is a uh, bubble bulba straw. I'm getting some ideas here, but first we gotta break in. <laughs> whoa, 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 it's that, a hard mine, one. Mine bounced right off. It's, whoa, whoa, how do you make it so wild. hard sometimes? I think we gotta put our whole mouths over this thing just to get oh, it, just okay. to get a. Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. I couldn't get. Yeah, cause the I couldn't get. It, uh, <coughs> okay, the bump, the the um the ball Woo. made its way up and it stopped right there. That's strong. Hey, I'm gonna try it this way. There's no way to get the ball through the thing, I don't think. But we can at least try to. Can you get a ball up in there? See, cause even if I did, even if I did this, like I tried to get a ball over here. Oh, it's hard. You can't do it this way, cause the. Yeah, I already. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about this though? Oh man, I'm yeah. I'm tasting flashbacks to when my nan would wash my mouth out with soap when I would say a dirty word. Cause yes, she did that. It, what? She would just make me tick, stick my tongue out and she'd wipe the soap on it. Oh, you've got one. That's cool. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, fun with boba! Not as much fun with boba. Whoa! How are you, how are you, what's the secret? The secret is a small mouth. It's huge. Whoop! You, you want to catch it? You want to catch one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let's let's make two bubbles into one. <laughs> Boobies, boba. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. My bubble caught your bubble and got big. Did you see that? Yes. Let's do that again. <laughs> forgot how bad my mouth tastes right now. <laughs> I know. I mean, at least you don't have potty mouth. So, will it boba? Yes! yes! It tastes like crap, but it's so much fun! <laughs> don't forget to check out the new Mythical Kitchen recipe and that entire channel. Thanks for subscribing to them and us and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Alexa Lords, and I'm from Ida Falls, Idaho, and I've been watching more Willets, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Penis. Everybody needs more Willets in their life. Please. Click the top link to watch us try to make boba cakes in Good Mythical More. And to find out whether Willet Mythicality is gonna land, light up your lifestyle with the GMM neon sign hoodie and jogger set. Available now at mythical.com.